Okay, great. My box is here. Fish are here. It would appear as though the movie Finding Nemo was kind of a double-edged sword for the aquarium hobby. On one hand, it increased the, the popularity uh, of the clownfish, uh, Ocellaris species specifically. On the downside, so many collectors and distributors got involved that of late, you can't buy healthy, wild-caught uh, Ocellaris clownfish. Nemo's were also called the common clown. And after months and months of buying half a dozen at a time and coming home and heck, one would even be dead in the bag before I even got it into the tank and then half of the remaining batch would die within the next week. All from what I assume uh, is called Brooknella, uh, which is a uh, disease that's kind of specific to clownfish. And in this case, it seems to be taking most of the um, wild-caught clownfish's lives. So I resorted to uh, ordering a shipment of clownfish from uh, a clownfish breeder. Uh, Tank-raised clownfish. And so we're in the process now of having received that box and just starting to put uh, bags of fish away, or at least begin to acclimate those fishes. Acclimate means allowing them to adjust from one environment to another environment over a particular period of time. And tank raise means they were raised in someone's home or business, not collected from the wild. So again, acclimation is very important. And so what we've decided to do, because we have so many individual bags, keep in mind there's 24 clownfish here, all individually bagged. What we've done is taking the bags and put them into a single bucket. I packed enough bags in there that all the bags stand up, positioned next to each other. I'm then going to go and cut the tops of the bags and slowly invert that bag so that there's almost a, a, a space, a void, supported by the other bags that I'm dumping that fish and his water into that particular little void. And as I begin to open more bags, there will be more water that will collect in the system. And in turn, that water also supports the balance of the bag. So as you can see here, we're emptying the fish and the water that's in their bag into a bucket here and we'll eventually end up with a bucket full of tank raised clownfish that once again are still swimming in their own water. There's nothing that they've had to get used to at the moment water quality wise other than a crowded bucket and a bunch of other brothers and sisters. And as you can see they're all individually bagged. And they're good sized clownfish too. Which gives them a good head start. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of clownfish there. All brothers and sisters. Or should I say at this point, all brothers. The sisters will develop shortly as a result of being the more dominant ones. And so now we're going to begin to acclimate or get the fish used to the water they're going in. Simple piece of airline tubing. I've got a fitting connected at one end. I'm going to put that end of the hose with a fitting in the tank I want to draw the water from. And with a simple little draw on the end of the hose, I have a siphon started. And we're going to allow a very slow siphon of water 
via that airline to me to allow the fish to get used to, again, variations in water quality. started and stopped the siphon a few times, we don't want to overwhelm the fish immediately with all new water. We want to add little bits of water at a time. Again, the word is acclimate or to acclimatize to allow the fish to get used to the new environment. And so we're going to do that little bits at a time. Now I'm going to start the siphon once again. Allow a little bit of the water into the bucket, and we're probably going to allow the fish to remain in the bucket for an hour, maybe two, just so they can gradually get used to the differences or the changes in water quality. We're not in a rush here, we want to take our time. So, our Clownfish have been acclimating for a good couple of hours now, and I think it's ready to move them up into their uh, tank. So let's go ahead and scoop a few uh, clownfish up and move them into their new home. That's a lot of clownfish. So we decided to uh, split up the clownfish into two different sets of tanks. And it just seemed like 24 in uh, one tank was too many. So we've uh, split them up 12 and 12. I had to move some of the inhabitants of this tank out because too many fish made the uh, longhorn cowfish nervous. We'll now go ahead and hold these clownfish for at least two weeks before we offer them for sale. 18 of the 24 are already intended for the big cylinder tank. And assuming they do well, tank-raised clownfish will become my new source for Nemo's. That's a lot of clownfish.